Well, I've been putting off this one for quite a while, but after the Hayabusa boots run, I think it's only fitting to follow that up with the Spartan sandals. And if you've been uh, following the game for, well, any amount of time, you'll probably know the, the infamous legacy that this weapon has. It used to be, yeah, probably the worst weapon in the entire game. Slow, minimal damage, the whole gimmick of knocking back enemies when you hit them didn't actually work against elites or bosses, so it was just, it was worse than any other brutality scaling weapon that you could possibly get, bar none. <laughs> Uh, but now it has gotten the ability to do extra damage when you're knocking enemies into walls. The final strike actually hits back elites and bosses, which I think is unique to the Spartan Sandals as far as knockback goes. And it just is faster and does more damage, so maybe it's better? And I was also hoping the same thing with Swarm, which I got again for some reason. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, it's... Certainly, I think this is going to have a little bit of an uphill battle just because of the infamous legacy. I mean, it wasn't even just that this was a bad weapon. This is also one of the first weapons that you'd get. Uh, it was a guaranteed drop if you killed all of the runners uh, in the in the promenade. And with only a five cell unlock, why wouldn't you get it? And then you find out that it feels like Motion Twin was playing a cruel joke on you because it's one of the worst weapons in the entire game. Oh boy, oh boy. So useless was this thing what, that Motion Twin, just in a, a desperate attempt to make this usable in some way, they tried to class it as a shield so that your random shield at the beginning of the game perk could give you the Spartan Sandals, and that didn't go over well. It's, uh, this is definitely one of those ones that I want to see be significantly better, but I don't know. It's knockback. Knockback just doesn't really have that much synergies in the game. There's not really anything for, say, uh, mutations. There's not really any specific skills that are gonna synergize well with it. It usually knockback only synergizes well with itself. Maybe if I got like a colorless marksman's bow, but even then, do I really wanna try to set up that combo every single time when I rather just, you know, come on, take him down. Uh, when I rather just want to, you know, walk away from the enemy enough, I, I guess in like a small arena when we're talking about like boss fights, that would be useful, but we're talking about very, very specific use cases, not the ones that, not like a, anything that's going to be able to compete with, it, here's a fast melee weapon and a good shield, which is usually what I'm thinking of when it comes to a uh, brutality run. I don't know. I, at best, maybe. Let's just say... I... Um... Grappling hook? I'm just... I, I, I'm like... Reaching through... Through everything that I know about Dead Cells. And I'm like, grappling hook might do something. But even then... I, I don't know. The, the, the base damage of this is not really all that high compared to knocking enemies against walls. Which is what you would want to... Which is how you're going to get the most damage out of this. So, that's kind of a stretch. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess get as many stats as possible. Really hope that the whole knockback, which is, it is a defensive move. I, I will give Motion Twin that. I don't really think it's much of a shield. But it is absolutely a defensive move. When you knock enemies up, they can't really attack you, especially if they're in melee range. And usually they have, like, some sort of stun that will knock them out of their animation anyway. And hey, you can also try and get gravity working for you. Maybe go up to the ramparts this time. You kick enemies off a... This is, this is again, so many very specific use cases that are not going to come up often enough in the game to justify using this over any other weapon. And there's another similar sort of thing with, like, say, using uh, Impaler. It's like, if I got an Impaler, that could be okay. Knock an enemy against the wall and then finish them off. And it's like, why... <laughs> I, it also just works well to, you know, hit them with... Ooh. There's no way I'm going to be able to afford that, though. Uh, just, you know... Hit them a lot with the weapon. No, don't worry about getting the critical specifically with that. And... I don't know. There's not too much here. I think that if there was something... If, if Motion Twin not only did a rework of this weapon, but did a rework of, say... Everything that does knock back to give it, like, some sort of... Uh, usage in every single case possible. 
for the most part, it's been kind of downplaying how how knockback works. Uh, you get like stun with the shovel on the third hit. You get a big critical on the third hit with the wrenching whip. Uh, the impaler does good damage even outside of getting the criticals. Knockback shield is just bad. It's like there's not. Oh, and of course, like there's a wave denial and the like, which will knock back a bunch of projectiles too. It's like it hasn't really been too much about uh, getting knockback to work for you. It's been about giving it something other than the knockback to make it worth using. Oh, but I, I accidentally I accidentally pressed that. That was that was a mistake. That was a mistake on my part. Oh boy. I just like I. <laughs> I don't know what. Okay, okay, okay. This is a thing that I've done in the past where I talk about even though I'm not doing like face cam stuff, I will still do like weird um, hand gestures and stuff like that. What I did was I basically did like the old, ah, oh, you know, um, hand on the back of the head. Ah, da, geez, I don't know. Even though you can't see that. And then when I put my hand back on the controller, I accidentally pressed the R2 button. <laughs> Which is pretty bad. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Oh, and this is not the sort of weapon that's going to be getting a whole lot of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so many mistakes were made. <laughs> Why don't I just do face cam if I'm going to be doing that all the time? Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, da, jeez, you guys. You know, this is not a rally weapon either. I don't, why did I even take this? I guess it was the assumption that I might be able to get something. I, I, you know what? I don't even know. I'm gonna. I can try to make an excuse right now. There is. Ah. I um. I think I rolled out of my kick there. I, I was too indecisive. I did both the kick and the um, and the roll at the same time. Cancelled out the roll, and now we're looking at such a bad run. It's kind of amazing. It's kind of amazing how many things went wrong so quickly here. <laughs> Okay, how about this? Yeah, I didn't want to kill him that quickly, and now I'm back at 1% health again. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> this isn't even anything to do with the weapon! This is just a cavalcade of failure on my part! Yes, please. I don't care if it's infected. <laughs> I gotta get rid of... I... I don't even know why, like, it was, I think the only justification that I have for why I even took vampirism in the first place was because, uh, it's brutality scaling. This is not a, this is not a rally weapon. This is not a weapon that you can spam. This is not a weapon that's going to be doing big enough hits to justify rally, unless I get a lot of extra, uh, a lot of extra stats, and very, very quickly, it's, wow, so many mistakes were made. I'm, I'm still just reeling, trying to even... Like, explain where everything went wrong. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, anyway, Spartan Sandals, I do appreciate the fact that it is a very gimmicky type of weapon. I, I suppose that is true. Despite the fact that I think it kind of uh, struggles to be useful in a lot of um, situations in the game, that it is it is interesting. This is not just your your standard run-of-the-mill run type of brutality uh does damage when you press attack button but at the same time those are effective weapons and they work well in pretty much any situation which is what makes them which is what makes that mill running so many of them I would like to see some more stuff whether it's I, I don't know maybe something along the lines of if you, you launch an enemy up in the air you do extra damage mutation type of thing stuff like uh, maybe something that just gives you extra damage when knocking enemies on the ground, I think, would be interesting, too. Also, it'd synergize well with stuff like the uh, Wave of Denial, potentially, or, like, Shovel, or, I don't know, even, like, the, uh, the Giant's Fist, which will knock enemies up in the air quite a bit, giving them, like, extra, extra tough gravity hits. Something like that. Maybe making it so that gra- you know, something that I think has been mostly unexplored with how the, uh, the, the general mechanics of the game work here is maybe something that will alter your rally a little bit. There is the one um, recovery mutation that allows you to get a little bit of extra time to recover with rally, but something like, I don't know, don't lose the, just a mutation that makes it so that you don't lose the rest of your bar of rally when you get hit again. 
something that makes it so that rally a mutation that just gives it so that rally is regained for falling enemies like falling enemy hits i think would be interesting too it would certainly make like a synergy between the two items that i'm using right now be a lot more palatable you know just anything that's like if you knock an enemy into a wall it doesn't just do extra damage Maybe, maybe something along the lines of like a more powerful version of open wounds if you knock an enemy into a wall. Eh, something. <laughs> I'd like to see something like that exist for four weapons like this. Because I do think that, man, I went into the promenade. And if I'm going into the promenade, I just need to go directly to the... Ah, whatever. This entire run is a mess anyway. I'm probably going to need to do another one. <laughs> Let's go. Ugh, what a nightmare. Anyway... Yeah, I'd like to see just something. Give me something a little bit more to work with. I, as much as, you know, I'm kind of totally okay with the fact that they're just like, maybe we'll downplay knockback. This was something we came up with back during the elemental update. We didn't know what we were doing. We just thought that it would be cool if we, if we threw this kind of mechanic in here. You know what? Combo could probably actually work pretty well. Kill an enemy, get like a pretty big hit even on the initial hit uh, from the Spartan Sandals. Sure, sure. And it's like they didn't know what they were doing. They were experimenting around, and now it's sort of like a walk in it back. It's like, I don't know, embrace it. Really try to give that whole, like, third hit, like, anything that does knock back. Third hit across the board also hits back el elites and bosses. So, and, and then give me, like, mutations. Give me, like, specific affixes. You know, there's all kinds of, like, cool ideas that you could possibly do to really make it so that this as an idea works. I mean, of course, knockback just by itself does have a lot of benefits. It is sort of dependent on what area you're in, but like look at, for example, the knockback shield, which I have against all odds managed to take here and not gotten rid of just yet. It's something that not very usable right now. If it had like the same sort of love that the, the Spartan Sandals was getting, maybe it could be more interesting. I mean, hitting enemies, hitting any. I mean, I mean, look at this right now, uh, for example. I mean, yes, I'm not building for survival, but what is like the difference? It's a difference of three stats, and I'm doing significantly more damage when knocking against. It's probably the same thing if I had like the actual stats for it. But 228 damage on a on a critical. It's like that should be so much more for the knockback shield. Of course, that was also the. The video that I did on that was also sort of a victim of um, poor play as well. Which, you know, I'm not going to begrudge you if you point that one out. But still, even then, I don't know if it would be particularly good, regardless of how you're going to cut that one. Ah, well. It's one of those things that it's it's not a bad idea for mechanic. Certainly, it's not a bad idea. Maybe, you know, in the same way that the... That the original version of... Oh God. In the same way that the original version of the... I don't know. Uh, ice crossbow had like two different things that it could possibly do. Maybe you could also just give like a secondary sort of characteristic to any one of these knockback things. Where you charge them up to be able to get the big hit on elites or bosses. But regular hits, you know, regular parries will also work just fine on on the uh, on, on um, normal enemies. Something like that? I don't know, I'm just spitballing here because I still think that there's a lot of stuff to be said about this weapon and certainly I would like to see it be considered a much higher tier one than it is, but I don't know, it's uh, it's hard to kind of, because there hasn't really been too much to do with knockback since it's been introduced. I, the, the way I've been putting it, that it's been downplayed more than anything else, is just that's that's just how it is. That's just how it be. <sighs> so I don't know. I mean, I'm still using it. It's still certainly a workable weapon, but as you can see, when I'm coming up against a lot of these flying biters, when I'm coming up against a lot of uh, uh, more powerful enemies, anytime that I'm going up against something that's not just a single enemy, basically, is what I'm saying. Also, ah, oh, single enemy, flying enemies, all that sort of stuff. It's not working out too well. I need something. It's 
there's not that big AoE like the Hayabusa boots gets that, as well as just the general other usage that like that weapon gets, that makes it a pretty big thing just by itself. That said, let's check out the whole possibility of maybe getting the grappling hook as I was talking about. I mean, I could also just, you know, get all the powerful items and completely overwrite the run, but that's not... Mm. Mm, I don't... I don't think that works on that weapon in particular, but if I can afford it, I'll... I'm entirely willing to mess around with it. At least to give it an attempt. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, thank you. That's actually, like, exactly what I need. I was, like, legitimately thinking maybe I should just take a potion charge. Just just sit down, contemplate my failures while I'm ch taking a good, good chug on my, my lightning jug. That's what I like to call it. But, uh, no, didn't need to yet. Ask and ye shall receive, even though I only asked merely in my heart. <laughs> Dead Cells is a, a kind and generous uh, game, and it is uh, sympathetic and willing to forgive. Like the gods in Bloodborne. As far as I know, I'm not pregnant yet. Yet. You don't know, man! <sighs> okay. Well, currently not even looking at 10 stats. That's kind of what I get for going immediately into the ramparts. I'm not even knocking enemies off of uh, areas all that much. Oh. The subtitle for this episode is Mistakes Were Made. <laughs> Mistakes were made. But that's okay. Certainly part of Dead Cells is recovering from your mistakes unless they kill you, which more often than not, they probably already did. <laughs> oh, that was close. I need a better shield, too. That's also something that I think would uh, go a long way towards making me feel a little bit more comfortable in this run. Knockback shield! I mean, <laughs> I've done nothing but talk about the shortcomings of the knockback shield. Certainly having... Uh, the knockback shield. Short, shortcomings of knockback in general. It's like having a knockback shield, which is... One of the lesser uh, use cases of knockback in general is, uh, I guess it's a good visual aid, but it's not really something that I'm looking looking for when it comes to these runs. I'm playing it to win. I always say that. That's always how I feel. Oh, that is that is still very rough trying to hit these sort of enemies with this. And that's the sort of thing where having like a blood uh, blood shield, for example, bloodthirsty shield would definitely, definitely do me good. You know, something in general, it's like not maybe not even just giving you a uh, rally, but just if an enemy dies from fall damage, it heals you. That would be a fun, um, fun mutation to put on there too. One that I don't think would be overpowered in any respect either. So you could easily justify using that there. Okay, come on now. Yeah, that works. Uh, definitely not going to want to go for the Conjunctivius. Hitting that against the wall. I mean, flying enemies, as you can see, does, don't get hit against walls. They just kind of fly right through because they're flying. And they don't, they don't care about physics or how those should work. They merely do their own thing. And, uh... Conjunctivius also... Or, uh, not the Conjunctivius, but the, um... Hey, thanks. Uh, the concierge also has some pretty clear walls in his arena, which I think is going to be just useful entirely. And as it is with the amount that I've been getting hit, revenge as a mutation might not even be a bad idea. Throw that one out there right now. There we are. You know, there's something along the lines for, like, knockback shield. Speaking of that, it's like, give it, like, an AoE knockback, too. You know, wave of denial style. And maybe even make it so that it works even if you're just holding out the shield. Maybe you gotta charge it up for a couple seconds, but that sort of thing I think could actually be like a... I mean, certainly the shenanigans would be there. And much like a lot of other shields in the game would help out a lot when you're going up against the... Do it. Uh, when you're going up against like the giant, for example, who does have a lot of projectiles in his fight, even aside from 
the also the big hits and everything. I think that it, just taking, you know, make it so that every single hit on the Spartan sandals does a big AOE in the same way that like the the Hayabusa boots does. That would be that would be something. That would be there would be something to that. Anyway, uh, I said that this is what I'm going to take and probably going to end up using it here. If I get it perfect, I can only hope that I get some sort of secondary item that's going to be pretty good. What would that be? I don't know, but uh, here's hoping. Uh, don't go for it immediately. Come on, man. Like, Give me a couple seconds. Keep hitting him against the wall. Slow enough enemy, too, to... Uh, that's not good. Okay, okay. Slow enough enemy, too, that it's like I should be able to get a lot of hits in on him on the wall. But there is also the problem, uh, much in the Hayabusa Boots run of... Boy, I didn't get an upgrade for this at all. There's that stun working out pretty good. Okay. This is overall, like, a lot of lesser brutality items, I'll just say. <laughs> and also the knockback shield. It's a weird suboptimal run all over the place, isn't it? A real test of skill. I was talking about last time where I'm like, hey, I'm only too happy about resting on my laurels. I don't really need to. I don't really need to be challenging myself, and here I am doing this sort of run. Still, the, the stunning is good. <laughs> Ever since uh, bosses can now have their uh, stun resistance wear off, that's... <laughs> wow, really? It's been doing good for me. So I'm really thinking that this is probably going to have to be a, uh, a, a two-run one <laughs> where I skip about halfway through to um, do a second one here. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to accept that as the truth. And when the time comes, I will unfortunately uh, acquiesce to that necessity. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting to really get the... Um, you know, this might also be a point in time to... Compared to anything else, just instead go for like Corrupted Healing and try to, like, actually get a lot of usage out of the damage increase there, because it's quite a bit. It's quite a bit, and I'm certainly going to... Uh, it's not going to be, like, trying to scrounge up one single potion charge before the end of the run. It is going to be getting several potion charges over the course of this run. You'll get that invincibility... Uh, Uh, barrier when I'm using the cluster bomb, which is pretty nice. Well, that was messy. <laughs> <sighs> Certainly the lack of stats from taking a, a truncated route combined with just in general the the kind of lackluster. I mean, it's not even a part about the weapon itself, by the way. It's just uh, no upgrades. Uh, the um, there's so many things to think about. Uh, there were no upgrades. Uh, kind of a lackluster run as it was. Uh, lackluster items to start with. Uh, the truncated run that I decided to do, which was clearly not a good idea on my part. <laughs> Boy, this is a weird one. Low stat, low tier item run through through dead speed run through dead cells. What are you doing, me? What are you even thinking with this combination? You set yourself up for failure. And I and to to which I say to myself, yeah, whatever. I think it makes for better television. And I find that hard to disagree with. Anyway. Oh yeah, I was gonna go get the uh, the potion stuff. I really maybe wait off on that for at least a minute. <laughs> We're not quite that desperate yet. Yet. Soon. 
as it is, I probably also want to save money for, um... Now, what do you... Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, that was a stat scroll that appeared all the way up there then. What did I kill for a... An elite? That wasn't an elite by itself, was it? I didn't... No, it would have dropped something else. I don't know what happened there. Oh, there. It... What? <laughs> oh, ah, I'm getting distracted by things. My confusion has been my downfall. Anyway, I'll take that. And I'll go sell the other thing soon enough. Yeah, yeah, save up for a, 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 a an improved version of the, the sandals, obviously, before we go try messing around with anything else, because it's not looking great. Look, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. I, in some part, have messed up this run. However, I am also going to be the one to get us out of this. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Wow. One of those things only have like one hit point. Anyway. I guess I probably got like a little bit more health on higher difficulties, but usually not enough to even notice. <laughs> well, anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. One of, the, one of the things I suppose I can talk about is that uh, you do also get the whole like uh, knockback grenade projectiles with this. A little bit easier to do with the Spartan Sandals because they're a lot more consistent in how they hit. And I do believe it's every one of the combo. It's not just like one. And it's pretty generous with the hitbox. It's just, bleh, you really want to. I want you to consider what that actually means. I mean, for example, pretty easy to do with those. Not as easy to do with, say, the Hand of the King. That's a little bit, that's a little bit trickier of an ask. That said, if I was going to choose any weapon to try and get a lot of the the kicking bomb stuff with, this would be the one. This would be absolutely the one. It is the easiest one to nail that uh, that particular gimmick with. Nothing. Nothing at all. That said, we still got one more uh, shop in here. Not a food shop. Can check it out can see if anything's going to be anything of interest happens to show up. If not, tomorrow's another day. And by tomorrow, I mean I'm probably going to end up going into the sepulcher and taking alienation. <laughs> this is that sort of run. This is a run of that caliber, and I don't think anybody's going to disagree with that point. What a... Oh, ooh, I... I got confused by the grub in there. Now then. This is... Oh, man. It's just... It is just... This is a thing. This is a run. <laughs> this is a sort of run that makes you feel alive. <laughs> Even as much as you're feeling dead. Just take the potion charge right now. You're already going to be taking the, the, the other stuff. I'm going to try and get the upgrade first. But, worst comes to worst, I will go blow all my money at the food shop. Soon enough. I suppose. <laughs> <sighs> it's like I have all the other melee items turned off, much like I did with the other run, and it just didn't, uh, sort of run that I wanted in ah, yes. Also, I forgot, yes, I, indeed, you might be wondering, did you forget that you already picked up one of the keys and didn't use it? Yes, I did forget about that, because I'm used to not doing that, so I didn't actually need to go into the key room. Take all that damage. Consider it. Consider the myriad ways that I messed up and how you can use that to become a better person in your own life. <laughs> ah, it's a fitting run. It's a fitting run for the Spartan Sandals, I'm just saying. You know what? I'm tired of losing, using low tier stuff. Get out of here. Only high tier allowed. What's high tier? Well, I guess you're going to have to look at what I take for this run and make a judgment accordingly. Anyway, as it is, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to afford a potion charge. Not that I was really gunning for that anyway. And, um... Many, many things right now. There's just so many... There's so many things to be said about, like, the, the number of ways that... This is bad. <laughs> However, hey, uh, flamethrower turret's very good, <laughs> so 
you know how that goes. Great. That's what I wanted. When I go into that chest, and I'm just like, oh boy, I hope it's one of the trap chests. I need a lot more cells right now. <laughs> it's necessary. Nah, yeah, it doesn't show me what's over there in the thing. Um... Oh, and I didn't even... Well, I didn't even open up uh, any of the teleporters over here, so that... I guess I have to use one of these keys to go backwards. Huh. What a weird uh, circumstance that is. You know what? I'm just gonna keep the money. I'm just gonna keep the money. I'm not even gonna worry about going to the food shop, getting all the stuff that I need, or whatever. Because I don't need it. I'm just gonna go take alienation and um, potion, whatever, and we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna keep this train wreck rolling. <laughs> what a run! Well, at least I got here with in record time. Well, it is no longer brutality scaling. Yeah. I mean, otherwise, you know, Electric Whip would be an interesting secondary item to take as well. Just saying. Anyway. You and... You and God, I can only hope that this does not go horribly wrong. <laughs> we'll see. Well, hey, when it comes to, like, kicking around stuff, I think, like, distillery is going to be an interesting uh, choice to, to hit up if I even get that far. Once again, we'll see. We will see. And then anything that comes down here going to get completely stunlocked. You can stunlock things pretty, pretty easily with this uh, particular weapon, but that's, <laughs> I don't know. I would rather just kill them faster than they could even start attacking me. Which is usually what you would do with a lot of other weapons. Yep. That said, can't always get what you want. Tail as old as time. Alright, now well, as soon as I can find you, well, we're gonna do this. I'll take it. It's not the best. Not like, I, not like having the extra, what is it, 20% damage when you get the parry. That's okay, I suppose. It's not really you know, that important, I would say. But hey, it's something. It's something. Open up that to get as much. Oh! <laughs> okay, fine then. Yes, yes, already a much better run. And I also cleared out the curse chest, so I don't even have to worry about that anymore. All right, so not only do I have a much better run in general, I also have a at least somewhat more powerful Spartan Sandals. Could be a little bit better, but uh, not going to be too much better considering, you know, the amount of money that I've generally been spending making sure that I have a decent amount of health this time. I am quite worried about how this run is still going to end up going. I mean, something like the... Like that, like the thing that happened right there. You might have seen it happen, because it just did. Uh, if that sort of thing continues to happen, okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> if that sort of thing continues to happen, I might be in a bad position, but that's why I already have four potion charges right now. Yeah, it's a, it's a limiting item. You can't really use it against ranged enemies. You can't really use it against very fast enemies either. It doesn't have too much range, and it's actually very easy to uh, get caught by, you know, specific hits here and there. It's a weapon that is quite good against individual enemies. I think that's kind of the uh, the best thing about it. Can very easily stun lock a lot of dudes, and usually make sure that they're taken care of pretty quickly. But if you're surrounded by any amount of enemies that's more than one or maybe two very close together it's you're gonna be having a bad time and that's been the uh the major issue as of right now certainly uh ranged weapons and everything with its uh, very limited range the limited range that it has also doesn't do too good so i gotta say it's like yeah i want this one to be better i don't think it's all that much better really Get out of the way, information box. I was going to try to parry that. 
Well, I didn't really mean to sell that one, but uh, whatever. I, I'm sure that it's not likely to be better than the whole 75% damage reduction, three brutality necklace that I have on right now. And when it comes to trying to... Oh, oh great. <laughs> this run is over if I die here, by the way. But I'm doing it. Uh, to be honest, I might just go for a, a giant kill. Even with a kind of lackluster weapon, the shield by itself will be good enough to take him down. Just like to... It's already been somewhat of a trial to get back here by itself. That I might just want to go for a little bit easier. Ah, well... I'll try to go for a, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go for, I'll go for the distillery and everything like I was saying, but, uh, know that I'm not happy about it. It's just, it's not, it's, it's better. It is better. It's not, still not that good. <laughs> better does not necessarily mean that it's suddenly like top tier, always take type of thing. Unfortunately. I do think that it's just the uh, the lack of like big criticals or huge damage, unless you can get enemies up against the wall, and that is a that's a tough thing to act just ask just by itself. And th just knockback, knockback doesn't really have a whole lot of stuff going on with it. It's something that's been glossed over rather than attempted to be made better more often than not. And that's rough, but that just is how it is. That said, maybe I might also be missing something. I certainly, as much as I've played this game, I still miss some obvious synergies occasionally. Yep, okay. I was wondering, I was, I was thinking I'm, it might have been... That might have been an over for me right there if, it, if the uh, failed experiment got just got a little bit farther. I thought it was okay, but that's often how I die. <laughs> In most circumstances. Alright, that works at least. And with a cherry there, if I can find any other uh, malaise up food, I would not be opposed to taking that as of right now. It's just, I think right now, the real thing to be said is that I'm gunning for the ending. If I can... Didn't teleport fast enough. Uh, if I can... The faster I can get to the end, I think the better. Because, as you can see, 5-cell mode still does have... Still has you taken quite a bit of damage from enemies. There. Okay, okay. Get the 60 kills at least. If I can get an upgrade from one of the, the uh, rest areas, especially if I do decide to go in for the giant. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm still kind of weighing... I, you know, I'm going back and forth. I'm going back and forth here because I know that I usually cop out at the giant, end it right there. And I shouldn't do that, but I really want to. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? I want to be lazy with this run. <laughs> uh, I, sh I should really just do the more traditional. The more traditional route and go through the distillery. I talked about having this weapon work in there. It's, you know, that's the best place that I could probably get some, some usage out of the whole kicking thing, at least. It's got kind of limited range on it, though, so I'm not entirely sure if that means that I'll be able to hit... Well, this is a very compact sepulcher. Don't really see them uh, built this tiny. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, Try it out. I don't know if the range is going to uh, kind of mess up my plans in regards to that. But we'll see when I get there, I suppose. In the meantime, I would not be opposed to additionally getting yeah, a little bit more powerful version of this. Also, I got open wounds with the hope that I might be able to get uh, plus damage on bleeding. I mean, even then, it still synergizes well with other stuff. Actually, it doesn't. What am I talking about? Uh, maybe it synergized well with the stuff that I had when I picked up that mutation. <laughs> that's that's more. That's closer to what I meant. Anyway, let's just get out of here. Should be able to get the yeah. There's plenty of enemies around here. Sixty kills. Leave it at that. I hope. We'll see. As it is, yeah, it's like it's a it's a great weapon against one enemy. You're ve rarely ever fighting one enemy, and certainly one enemy does not extend to bosses when it comes to uh, this weapon. So it's just it's too highly specific of circumstances that you need to kind of pull out to even make this thing truly uh, uh, the, the weapon you would have over any other similar build. I wouldn't really say that this is, uh, th th this is never really one that I would gun for as far as a build goes. Would like to see Motion Twin implement some stuff that would give, uh, 
I, I know that they were talking about for some future update, uh, putting in some more stuff for, for two-handed weapons. Related to, like, um... Giving them more mutations, since a lot of survival uh, mutations, for example, are built around having shields. It's like, but... But... I don't know. Stun lock works great right up until it doesn't. It's actually still working pretty great, right? Okay, well... Oh, okay, okay, there, there, there we go. That, that's what I was talking about, where it's just like... She's going to eventually gain enough resistance to the stun, and that's when I'm going to get hit. That said, okay, fine. Maybe there's some good stuff about this weapon. I I guess with the rights, if, if you got like a very, very high stat run going on, you could probably kick enemies into walls until they die, at least in terms of bosses. I wouldn't really say, like I said, most enemies are going to be surrounded by too many other enemies to make that a really, like a legitimate strategy. But at the same time, well, then again, you also think about the, like, the Hand of the King. You'll see when I get there, but things are going to get pretty wacky because the Hand of the King and his interaction with the spike pits around his arena are um, truly a sight to behold. <laughs> no, that's, that's a little bit too risky for me. You know what I want, and it's that. Stun enemies? Uh, would enemies being kicked against the wall be considered stunned? Maybe. Perhaps. Something to, to keep uh, keep an eye on for the future. Because that might be a strategy? I don't know. Uh, I, I suppose either way it's a little bit difficult to uh, figure out the exact stats when I'm... Uh, doing the game as you know no that kick worked just fine okay good <laughs> happy to see and that was pretty fun but like not quite what i was i was kind of hoping for a little bit more damage from the barrel to be honest now then oh boy ah. got to be a little bit cautious here all right well there's two potion charges that did a lot more damage to me than I would have thought. But I, I guess, you know, we are talking about dead cells. How much damage did you think it was going to do to you? If it was an insubstantial amount, you might be surprised. And I was. Quite surprised, in fact. Give it a pretty wide area to go around. Just to be sure. Now then. I suppose I should probably take this for right now. I'm not going to use it too much in, like, in the Hayabusa Boots run, but, uh, just for the ease of, uh, taking out some enemies at a distance, I think it's going to be nice. Especially because, as you know, still having a little bit of difficulty when it comes to... Not, didn't quite get it. A little bit of difficulty when it comes to ranged, or, not ranged, but, um, flying enemies, of course. Those are... I mean, it, obviously this weapon does have some pretty limited range when it comes to... Okay, when it, when it comes to uh, everything, it has pretty limited range, I guess is the way to put it. But um, it is not... Uh, it is not one that is entirely helpless when it comes to taking out enemies. It's just multiple enemies. This will also help with multiple enemies. Okay... Ah, this is a little bit tricky. One of the failed runs I had. Yes, I had failed runs. <laughs> I know, big surprise. I, I did have um, a a colorless. Mmm, where is the potion charge? Actually, first off, okay. Yeah, did have a colorless wolf trap in, in the mix there for a little bit, which was uh, pretty fun. Worked out well, I would say. But um, also, it like it did really highlight the fact that if you're not hitting enemies against the walls, that you're really not getting a whole lot of damage out of this weapon. It's rough like that. Because when you can keep an enemy kind of like in place like that, uh, it highlights how how weak the 
the hit is on the initial part. Hitting enemies against walls, you can get decent damage. I mean, you just saw in that, uh, in that Timekeeper fight alone, but, you know, again, unless you're doing, unless you are, uh, talking about, unless you are talking about, uh, enemy, single enemies that you can keep stun locked that don't, like, go through walls like flying enemies or whatever. That's when the difficulty comes in. Okay, get rid of those things. Get, wow, you just... I mean, that was a good kick, but not quite what I wanted. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. You too. And then one more. Okay. Still, it is, it is a fun weapon. I still really like the style of this, certainly. The whole idea of being able to kick enemies around I still think is a great idea, and I would like to see a little bit more from that, just in general. It's like, I, I do think that knockback in its entirety needs a rework. That's, that's, if there's one thing you want to take out of the episode, it's that I hate these chests in particular, but also knockback, I think, could use a rework just overall. It's not really just, it's not the fault of, like, this weapon by itself. It's just this weapon is all about the knockback, and that makes it a little bit hard to use. Good. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's, those shields, usually not that bad, but sometimes very bad. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried there for a second when I saw that it had the invincibility crystal thing, that it's like it was just going to explode before I could do enough damage to it. But somehow I hit through it anyway? I don't know. I, I'm not entirely sure what the, what the particular combination of stuff was that made that work, but... I guess I'm not going to argue with it. All right, in the meantime. Yeesh, this is... This is still pretty rough. And the sooner I can get out, the better. Mm, it's really not any... It's 4% more powerful. I, I guess I'm probably not going to worry too much about that. We'll take that, though. Uh, forget about that other shield. Don't need it anymore. I'm going to be working with this new one. It's much more powerful. Thrown to the side. Never to be seen again, that shield. All right, lower room, and then... Hopefully you got the uh, key over here. It's been a rough distillery, and not as much kicking of barrels as I was hoping. However, there's still been a significant amount. The kicking... I mean, in the same way that the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air feels about going into his... No? Hmm. New home. I still feel like I might as well kick it. I feel like that was a reference I made like five to six times an episode during the like initial runs of these boots. Still hold to it. It's a good reference. But, you know. Does anybody even know what the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is these days? They might know about, like, Carlton dancing to, uh, Tom Jones. And I don't really... That's not the same thing. It's not... That was a, that was a single scene in the show and no more. Okay. Getting 100,000 damage. Like, uh, if I took this into the, uh, into the next fight, oh boy, oh boy, it would be going real saucy. <laughs> Because, of course, it's like you get a colorless version of that item, and it honestly does do a lot of damage against the Hand of the King. So, like, really, it is a very good counter to him that you get just kind of for free in this area, but no, no, no. That's not, that's not what we're doing here. It's not what we're doing here. It's going to go fight it with the actual weapon and also one um, fairly good shield and two fairly good skills. I call it a team effort. Good. Then, I don't know, man. I'm... Nope. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, barrel duels. <laughs> and at least, uh... Enemies getting hit with walls does a lot of damage, which I'm always big fan of. 
Okay. Let's go get that shield and get out of here. That was, like I said, rough. I'm still alive, though, and that's kind of the important bit. 100,000 damage. I mean, I got good stats right now. I got good stats because that, uh, because of uh, Challenge Rifts. Did find one and a uh, extra uh, uh, cursed chest in the Sepulchre. And also, additionally, I got the, the necklace, which gives me three of my main stat, which is always pretty nice to have. One of those ones that's putting your eggs uh, all in one basket, but uh, I don't mind that too much. I think that especially with a weapon like this, it, it works out more to your advantage than it does your detriment. All right. 666 cells, too. That's the number of the beast. Come on, remember more of that song. Nah, I can't. I mean, in good conscience, but also literally. Now then, I promised a wacky fight here, and uh, trust me. And the king gets, gets very unpredictable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As stated, Hand of the King gets very unpredictable when he gets thrown into uh, pits. Also keeps defaulting back to the same move over and over, which I guess, uh, nope. Oh my God. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I, I promised that. I showed it. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> and so there we are. <laughs>